Hello, beautiful people. My name is Angie, AKA The Lovely Escapist. Now I'm sure a lot of you think that in order to clone in one of your photos, you have to use Photoshop, but that is not true. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can clone using Lightroom. Let's get started. This photo was taken in Athens, Greece, and it's actually an ad for the company CarMax. And my vision for the photo was to have me happily throwing up the CarMax tubes. And the funny thing is though, in the original image, I only had about 10 CarMax. So I was actually able to duplicate about 20 to 25 other CarMax tubes solely in Lightroom using the cloning tool or the cloning brush. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. First, I'm gonna take away the additional CarMax tubes that I created. All right, now that we have taken those away, let's get started. So, as I said, you're gonna wanna use the clone tool because when you use the heel tool, there are smudges around the edges, but we want an exact duplicate. And what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that your brush size is exact to the object that you are duplicating. So, for example, I'm gonna fit the size perfectly for the CarMax tube. And you wanna stay within the lines as much as possible. Initially, it's going to want to clone over the CarMax or over the object you're trying to duplicate because that's what the cloning tool's purpose is for. However, you're gonna switch this so that what you're actually cloning is now the CarMax tube. So you just kind of switch the two. So clone and then switch. So then if we zoom out a little bit and try it on a couple of others, you'll start to see a difference. So for this one, I'm going to have to increase the size just a tiny bit. Go over the entire area of the CarMax tube. Like I said, it's going to try to clone another area that closely resembles this space, but you're gonna to wanna to switch it. And try to fit it as much as possible to the tube, and there you go. I'm gonna continue cloning until I think there's enough CarMax tubes in the photo for the ad. Now that we've created a bunch of duplicates, uh, as you can see, they are a little bit lighter than I would like. You can't really tell what brand it is or the colors, so I'm also going to use the brush tool to lower the exposure and shadows so that they're a little bit more noticeable. And there you go. Obviously, I was kind of in a hurry. I didn't want to spend too much time, so some of these, you can see the outlines a little bit, but when you're doing this, make sure that doesn't happen. Take your time, make sure it's precise and perfect, and you should do great. Now, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, or if you had some fun, or you want to see more tutorials in the future, subscribe to my channel right here, or you can check out some other videos and tutorials right here.